My clients are always asking me how to put your hair up at night and I'm always trying to explain but it's easier to show. Most of my clients are nat have natural hair and they like to get their hair straightened. So the problem is what to do with it at night. A lot of them don't like to wrap the hair because it makes it too flat. In order to keep your hair straight and full of body, this is one of the methods I like to share with them. So I'm going to show you what I did to keep my hair done. I just straightened it yesterday. It is a little big. Um, and and frizzy. It was only because I was out in the humid air last night, but it still looks nice. It's full of body, and I don't mind the, the big and frizzy hair. So I will show you how I put it up last night. Good morning, everyone. I'm getting ready for work. Yesterday, I straightened my hair. So all I did was put some rollers in it and pin curl the rest. So I'm just taking the pin curls out right now. I did large pin curls because I wasn't looking for really tight hair. I just wanted to leave a little bit of body in it, if you can see it. See? Okay, so I always get asked how to do a pin curl. So I'm going to show you the way I tell my clients to do it. All you need is a double... <laughs> All you need is a double prong clip there can you see it a little clip opens up um, I like these better because they hold a lot easier and firmer than a, um, a bobby pin you just take a little small section like this for a tight curl me personally I like a large curl so the ones that I used last night were large pin curl sections so this, you can see this is a lot of hair I'm grabbing up right here. And this is just because I, don't, I want body and not a bunch of curl. So that's why I have a, such a large section. So if you just want your hair straight with a little bend on the end like how I have mine, then you'll use a large section like this. But if you're trying to keep your curls, then you want to use small sections to do your pin curling. Pin curling is better because it allows you to be comfortable while you're you're sleeping at night versus laying on rollers. I can't do it. I can't stand sleeping on rollers. So that's why I had them just in the crown. Now, and I use the pin curling around the side so I can sleep comfortably. And I also like to do things that take as less time as possible because if it takes if it's more complex and takes more time, I'm not going to do it and I'll just go to sleep however and wake up looking however. The direction that you're going to roll uh, depends upon how you want your curls to fall. If you want your curls to fall forward into your face like so, then you'll want to roll like so. But if you want them to fall backwards, like some do those the glamour waves going backwards, then you'll want to roll it backwards. So my curls are going forward today. So I'm going to roll forward. Now I'm going to do this correctly this time. On my finger, like a roller, around, there we go. Take your finger out and continue rolling it up as if it was on a roller. Then you take your clip, can y'all see that? You take your clip to clamp it down like so. You got it? Get it? Good. That's not very secure when you're doing larger pin curls. Um, you want to get at least two clips or three clips on there. So I'm going to add another one just to make sure it's good and clamped down. And then maybe a third on top right there. And see, just as simple as that. Can y'all see that? Very simple. Well, until the next video, y'all have a wonderful day. Remember to practice safe styling.